Hi, welcome back to Shotoku Tech. On my previous video about La Potato from Libre Computer, we played around with it a little bit, but I was left with sort of a mixed feeling about it. But then I got this comment from the Circuit Fox who says, Hey, check out Armbian on La Potato. Like I say, the Libre Computer images are very dated at this point. Uh, the Raspbian here that I used in the previous video dates back to 2019. But when we go to the Armbian website, their image for the La Potato has been updated as recently as February of 2022. That's up to date. And the documentation is very thorough as well. I'm interested in checking out SSH after we boot up. Also note that the root password is 1234 at your first login and you're forced to change the password. And you can also optionally create an additional regular user login. So let's go ahead and download it. Okay, so this is 1.1 gigabytes, so we're going to crop a lot out here. Oh, there it is. It's already down now, so we're going to get out Belina Etcher here. And I've got my SD card in my SD card reader. Let's plug it in and let's burn an image. All right, so we're going to flash from file. We want to go to our downloads. There's that Armbian image we just downloaded. It says it's for La Potato, so I'm happy about that. Open. Now we select our target. Yeah, there's our SD card that we just plugged in. And flash. Again, this takes a while, so we're going to crop and compress. We'll be right back. Yeah, anytime you see this kind of stuff, you want to just cancel. Okay, so the flash is just finishing. Now, we have to wait for it to verify. So, we're going to keep cropping and compressing. Yeah, it's going to validate. That'll take some time. Okay, our flash is complete. I'm just going to grab the SD card. Oh, I should have ejected it. Oh, well. <laughs> anyway, let's go plug this into our La Potato. Here we go. Okay, let's rate this setup. There's the La Potato, HDMI cable, power cord, Ethernet cable, and the dongle for my wireless keyboard trackpad combo. Got a portable monitor here, and of course we're using the AGP tech to capture all the action. Okay, so we've booted up. It's time to put in the password. Somehow it missed the, <laughs> missed the first key coming right out the gate. And so I have to go ahead and take the bad password. Let's see if we can get it in right this time. There we go. And we'll use Bash. And we're going to go ahead and create another user account. It won't load the desktop if you don't create a regular user account. So we'll create Shotoku Tech, give him a password. And yes, his name really is Shotoku Tech. Hit enter, and now it's going to go ahead and, uh, oh, it detects my time zone based on my network. That's cool. And it's going to give me some more regional settings options here. Pick the appropriate one. Okay, here comes the desktop. There, there's my mouse cursor. All right, and there's Armbian loaded up there. I'm really impressed with the amount of applications that are already installed on here. This looks like something I could use productively. It's very, very nice. Got an office suite. All right, a lot of stuff under system. I want to find out the IP address of this unit because we're going to check out the SSH. Launch our terminal, IF config.
Okay, there's our IP address. Let's go. Okay, so I wanted to try out SSH because that's one of the features we're going to want to use right away. And that says it's a common feature and it's already configured. So, okay, here we go. Oh, that's cool. I like that. You got the La Potato header there and it tells you the Armbian version and some system statistics there. That's very cool. All right. This sort of restores my faith in La Potato. Maybe you'll want to check it out again. Okay, well that was pretty fun checking out Armbian. I hope you got something out of this. Leave a comment down below. Give this video a like and before you go on to watch more of my Raspberry Pi playlist, please click on subscribe. Thank you very much.